Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my continued coverage of the HTC Desire mobile phone. Now if you haven't seen my other videos, please check my main channel page where there's a whole host of videos showing you an unboxing, setup, product tour and also a look at the camera and texting abilities of the HTC Desire. But in this video, I just want to look at the Photos application that comes pre-installed on the handset. Now when you launch the photo application you've got three icons down the bottom here and I can go into my albums and this gives me an option of choosing all photos or ones that have actually been taken with the inbuilt camera and I can scroll between them, I can select a photo, I can rotate so it goes round into landscape view, I can pinch to zoom. So a really nice experience for viewing photos and for looking through the ones I've taken with the actual inbuilt camera. Now if I go back one section these particular ones I can actually uh, share them or bin them or gain direct access to the camera. So while I've got this photo in the middle I can click share and it will allow me to share this online. If I go back one more section still in the landscape mode I can go across to Facebook which unfortunately I haven't uh, set up on the handset but you can log into your Facebook account and it will pull down uh, all of your uh, album photos on your Facebook. I have set up Twitter so this gives me access to my friends photos and also my own uploads I've got on my Twitter account. So let's tap on that icon here and I can scroll through all of my albums. So here there's a bit of a blast from the past it's going to Mac Live Expo 2007 and the same experience I can scroll through my photos that I took at Mac Live Expo and when I get to one that I want to look at a bit more closely such as this one I can double tap and it will take me to a larger view I can even pinch to zoom in and out on it and scroll around the photo I can even scroll around the photo with the optical trackball here as well and when I'm back out in this view, I can use the trackball for scrolling left and right. So screen or trackball for navigating around and then if I want to go back to that main selection screen and back again to my albums and perhaps select another album. Uh, here's some of the time capsule when it first came out. So again, really nice experience and it's as though these are actually stored on the mobile phone itself but it's not it's actually pulling this data down from my Twitter account and really nice experience so that's the photo application that is uh, supplied with the HTC Desire I created a shortcut to it here on my home screen or you can access it uh, in the all program view and scroll down to you find the photos application I find it a lot easier just to add a shortcut to one of my home screens well thanks very much for watching, I will be doing more coverage on other applications that are supplied with the HTC Desire, but in the meantime, please check out my Geek and Noise channel for more great tech related videos. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.